NAACP has held a news conference late this afternoon regarding the recent officer-involved shooting in Roanoke County. It happened Friday night near the intersection of Electric Road and Brambleton Avenue. Police received a call about a man pointing a gun at nearby cars. When officers arrived, police say they saw Keontae Spencer carrying what we now know was a BB gun. Officers shot him when he refused to drop it. And now the NAACP and the teen's family are voicing some concerns. WSLS 10's Bree Jackson was at today's news conference. She joins us live in Roanoke County. So, Bree, of course, this thing is all still under investigation, uh, but what specific concerns are, are they having about the shooting at this time? John, among other things, they said that they want an unbiased and transparent investigation. They're concerned about the nearby shooting. They say that it did not have to result in the teen's death. Close to 50 people gathered here during that news conference that the NAACP held earlier today. It included concerned parents, students, and Keontae's brother. Now, members of the NAACP say they have concerns about exactly what happened that night that the officer shot and killed the teen. The NAACP says deadly force should not have been the option is now they want the police department to release all of the dash cam videos and they also want more training for officers training will educate police forces not only here in the Roanoke Valley and surrounding areas but across the state and across the nation training is important it is significant it teaches you how to handle situations And on top of more training, they say they also want the names of the officers that were involved in the shooting released. So, Rhea, I know a lot of family and friends showed up today. Are there any vigils planned to help students grieve? I'm told that there is a vigil plan tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. at Hidden Valley that is expected to happen at the flagpole there. So once again, students uh, and some parents are expected to gather tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. at Hidden Valley at the flagpole. In Rona County, Bree Jackson, WSLS 10.